Hi guys and girls and welcome back to another video. In this video I'm gonna be showing you how you can make your own very simple low poly stylized textures. So we're gonna make the textures in Krita. You can do this uh, in Photoshop, GIMP, anything you want. And then we're gonna uh, import that into Unity and try, try and using it there. So keep in mind these are very simple. This is like for beginners. If you want me to make a more advanced tutorial just say in the comments. So first thing you want to do is create a new file that is going to be 1024 by 1024. And if you are using Krita, just delete the bottom layer by pressing, uh, by selecting it and then pressing shift delete. First thing we want to select the base color. We're going to be making a grass texture. So we're going to need a green color, but you can do this for snow textures, dirt textures, sand textures, pretty much any texture you want. So select the fill tool. And then select a greenish color and fill the canvas. Next we're going to add a new layer and then we're going to select a brush. We want any soft brush. I think these are, uh, I think these don't come with um, default Krita. These are part of a plugin I think, but you can use literally any soft brush you want. So go, go ahead and just select this base color. If you somehow lost it, just press control and left click and it's going to select that color. And then select a bit lighter here. So just drag down and it's going to select a lighter color here. And change the opacity to like 30%. And in Krita, if you hold shift and press left mouse button and dr drag, then it's going to change the size of the brush. I'm going to use something like this. When I'm painting textures, I always like to press W on my keyboard so, it, so I can see how it will look if it was uh, tiled. And just st start adding in some color. We'll fix all of this later. You don't have to worry uh, about it looking bad. Okay, this is pretty good. Now what we want to do is select a darker color and then do the same thing. Just go over the texture a bit. And you can see that this looks very rough. So these like transitions from the dark to the light color are very hard and they don't look very good. This is probably very hard to see on YouTube because of uh, rendering and stuff, but you can just select the color in between those two. So here's a, like a very dark color and here's like a light color. And I'm just going to select between them and then do the same thing. So just go over the texture and then maybe do the same thing somewhere else. So like here and then just go over the texture. And the texture looks much smoother now. If you want to go a bit more further into this, you can draw some grass on here, uh, but I'm not going to be doing that in this video. Last thing I like to add to this texture is create a new layer and then add some little rocks to it. So select a hard brush and then set the opacity to like 60% and select like a gray car color. And then we're just going to start placing some uh, stones in here. I think the opacity is a bit too big, so we're just going to lower the opacity to about 40 and then place some some kind of rocks in there. Now you can see that this doesn't look very good and that's why I'm using Krita because I imported some custom brushes. There's gonna be a link down in the description for this and this brush allows me to place place this kind of texture wherever I want. So if I just lower the opacity again to like 40 and just just place some around. You can see that it looks very, very good. It looks much better than than before. And that is it for the part in Krita. Now we're gonna import it into Unity. I'm gonna call this grass hand painted texture. And I'm gonna save it as a PNG. So just save, go into Unity and drag in your texture. Select the terrain. I already have one set up here. Go to the texture tab and add in a new texture and drag in your texture to the albedo part right here. And if we just press add, you can see the texture is applied immediately. If your texture is like too big, you can go to the texture tab and edit texture and then change the size to like five by five. And you can see that it's much smaller now. But I think this is pretty decent for the amount of time we put in. You can, as I said, you can do this with the snow, sand, you can do this with almost any texture. 
So if this helped you, be sure to leave a like down below. Um, also comment if you want me to make like a more advanced video or if you have any suggestions, just leave a comment and hopefully I'll see you next time. Bye bye.